Welcome everyone. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 2022. I have the dice here. We're going to set the tone with Norman Reverie. I've already pre-shuffled all the decks. So I'll continue to do that as I go. I have the main deck as the Gilded Tarot and then Clarifiers with the Rider Waite Mini. It is a general reading. If you want something more specific to you, my info is below as well as on my website, TwinFlames3344.com. And otherwise, let's get going. Let's see what's going on for Virgo right now. Feels very emotional today for everybody. It's calm outside and it is sunny. It's not really bright though. So let's see what comes up or changes as we go. Since I had to bring that up. All right, we have the number nine, which is Virgo. It's also September and the Hermit, which is also Libra energy and the collective consciousness, endings, completions, universal selflessness as well. And we have, did I say Scorpio in the last one? This is Scorpio. Um, I think the Virgo symbol came up for Leo and I actually said Scorpio, but it was, it was Virgo for some reason. I don't know why I said that. But you have Scorpio. If I... If you're listening and you watch Leo, go back and look at that. I have to check that out, see if I made that correction. But anyway, this is Scorpio. So we have Scorpio in the South Node, so letting go Scorpio things that no longer serve you. We have Neptune, Neptune here, which is Pisces and dreaminess, that illusory energy or just dreams coming true regarding Scorpio and Virgo or an ending coming full circle is coming up for Leo as well. I'm getting Neptune. And Pegasus was just coming up too. I'm getting this, literally look at this. This arrow on Scorpio, I'm getting as this, the, you know, the pitchfork thing or whatever they, Neptune calls it. So let's see how that comes up. So Scorpio could be trying to get their digs in, but also it's the sign of Neptune, which is dreamy energy. And obviously there's a sexual connotation there too, since it is Scorpio. So let's see how that plays out. But really Pisces, Scorpio, and Virgo coming up as the main energies there. And what is the tone with the Lenormand Reverie here? Of course, Virgo thing to do. I have to make this square with the table. <laughs> All right. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay, we have the compass, which is really interesting because I, I, I always have my compass there, but I set it upright and it's literally, north is about this angle according to the picture on my video. And it's, I placed it, I propped it up so you could actually see the face on it today. So the Direction is very significant for Virgo today, facing true north. Remember that Scorpio is in the south node, that Taurus is in the north node here. And we have the 42, which is that one-to-one -one connection here of the two of cups. And there's no specific card here. It's all, all four suits coming up here. So finding your true north in a one-to-one -one connection on the fool's journey here, right? At the Y in the road, basically, which is also zero point where all roads lead home finding your true north and coming full circle here with the 21. And then we have the Atlas burdens here, which could be ha completing all of that and the moon here. So there's some kind of, this could be some kind of deception here. And this is Atlas energy, the 10 of wands and the weight of the world on your shoulders. And this is the journey again, and this is the fool's journey as well. And there could be some cancer energy here for you as well as Pisces, Aries, Yep, and there could be some diving deep here too with new love, self-love, spiritual love. And the bottom of the deck is the power man here of 28. And I always get Elon Musk for some reason when this energy comes up. 
with the man from Mars energy and the twin flamey energy. So it's that kind of underlying energy of the power man. Underneath that is a letter, the 27 of new inspiration, the third flame, the ace of wands, communication documents, perhaps a sealed document open with the seven of swords. Something may be revealed, uh, perhaps a passion. The seven of swords. So is it lying, cheating, and stealing and coming clean about that? But there's some kind of new passion here, which may, it's the, you know, it's the taking a risk card. So let's see what's going on with that. And I think Elon Musk is cancer energy, so that's definitely coming up here. So Virgo and cancer, the one-to-one -one true north energy, right? A choice of path here, or a choice of door, doors to open with the queen of pentacles. Very grounded energy, right? She's already been through all the other suits. She's able to manifest and sit in her throne very comfortably. And having come full circle, having climbed the mountain, there's a buck down here who perhaps still has some mountain to climb. There may be, I'm getting climb every mountain, forge every stream. So we have, again, the, the cross of burdens and the weight of the world on your shoulders, right? Having to climb, overcome this mountain here. And that can be with this buck energy. So that could be specific to the masculine. Okay, the burden that needs to be overcome. And then the journey of the moon and being mid-moon as opposed to at the full moon or the new moon, finding that middle ground here. That safe space is what I'm getting. And there's long nails here too. Somebody might like to dig their nails into you. This is cancer energy and the eight of cups, which is that uh, walking away within, right? Perhaps walking away to find what's missing. And the six of uh, pentacles here is about, it's the burden though in this deck, right? The weight of the world. So perhaps being charitable or giving to others has become burdensome for you. Maybe no longer something you want to do. And the need to find that middle road there, that space that's comfortable for you without pressure from somebody else, outside sources, pinpointing. That could also be Scorpio energy, right? I'm getting clutches there. And that could be have to do with cars as well. Walking away and within and diving deep for self-love, spiritual love, and new love, right? Finding that well water, those emotions that you haven't looked at in a long time, and bringing them to the surface. Finding your true north. And we just passed the full moon cycle. So, Let's see what else is going on for you, Virgo. Connecting on your path, perhaps you're going for a hike in the mountains, but it's finding completion there. Perhaps dumping your burdens, taking a vacation, taking a load off, perhaps at mid-moon. So we're approaching the mid-moon, maybe this coming weekend or something, taking a, a mini vacation to dive deep perhaps with new love. And again, there's Virgo, Scorpio, and Piscean energy there. Oh, that's interesting. I wasn't thinking that. I'm Virgo, and my children are, are Scorpio and Pisces. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo for February 2022. Whoops. Okay, so those two cards wanted to flip out here. Those two just got pushed out. Looking back at the past and reaping the rewards of your efforts, perhaps seeing how far you've come. Okay, one more. All right, Virgo, February 2022. Take a deep breath. Virgo, 2022, February. first card out for you the knight of pentacles the humble loyal servant this is very virgoan very humble loyal servant practical but they're looking forward but yet going back something needs to be finished before they go forward and the challenge for you is the eight of pentacles perhaps you're working late or somebody else's perhaps you're looking very closely studying for an exam perhaps 
or somebody around you is, and this person's looking at this challenge, but going back first to do something else. So right away, we have a lot of pentacles energy coming up for you. So practical things of day-to-day -day living, perhaps money things. The foundation is the emperor. So there's an emperor in your foundation, and he is upright, thank goodness. So someone in control, that can also be Aries energy. And in the recent past for you, Virgo, is the Queen of Cups, which can definitely be your energy. She is longing for the Knight of Pentacles here. It's like Juliet energy in this deck. She's longing for the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is looking forward at this challenge of birth working late nights before they can come back to the Queen of Cups. So this can be you, but this can be you as well, and the Emperor could be a Virgo as well. So crowning you is the Page of Swords. This could be a child who feels entitled, perhaps an air sign, or just um, this can be communications, messages, something that's not negative, but perhaps immature or small, a small message like a text or an email. Again, we can have, I just brought up my two children. So it could be like, you know, Virgo energy with two children here, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles and then the emperor here in the foundation. What's coming up for you? The knight of swords. The knight of swords can be coming in with a message, the truth, the knight in shining armor, the messenger of truth, the catapult. This also could be a delivery coming in. And both of these knights are heading towards the queen of cups over here. And we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords here, which that can definitely represent siblings. So you see yourself, Virgo, as the King of Cups with a smile on his face. You have a secret to tell. They're very pleased with themselves. And the King of Cups is also unconditional love. Virgo, this is beautiful. You haven't had this nice a reading in a long time. Look, all cards upright. A lot of people here. I was at a kitty party on Saturday, which was really beautiful. But this is this energy of satisfaction within yourself, finding unconditional love, perhaps with the emperor over here. Maybe you are the emperor. Maybe you found control in your life regarding unconditionally being unconditionally loving. And we have the king and queen of cups here. What's around you, how others see you, is the hanging man reversed. In this deck, I like it when it's reversed better because it's finding that way out of your chains, which is great. So either this is how others are seeing you finding your way out into unconditional love or to the king of cups who could be in your energy or this is somebody else who's come in your way because they found a way out of their chains and the block for you is the three of pentacles perhaps the workplace the co-creation the coming together to work see both your challenge and your block have to do with work which is weird right because virgo is usually all about the work maybe that's not what you want to do anymore maybe you want to focus more on love in your life and what's coming up here is Virgo. This read is beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands here. The only thing that could trump this is bringing, you know, some heart energy in there. There's new passion here. There's a Queen of Cups longing for their, right, their humble, loyal servant there. And then here's the King of Cups who's all satisfied with himself, kind of having a party of one there. And the emperor between them, these can also be siblings or just two water signs. So, right, we could have Cancer. You know, he could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. She can too, but she usually comes up as Cancer energy for me. And then we have two swords energies as well here. They could be siblings or just air signs as well. So, again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius there. And these could, they, this could be a set of older siblings and a set of younger siblings. Or these could be two families coming together. Yeah, so what's connecting you to what's left hanging in limbo? Justice. Justice for all. Truth and balance. And what's hanging in limbo for you? The Seven of Cups Reverse, which is, this is seeing synchronicities, having lots of beautiful options, Perhaps can be overwhelming because on this in this deck they're all good. This can be, um, you know, heaven in your eyes. You know, perhaps too much shopping because everything looks good. But here is about dropping it. You know, finding the one you want, letting go of the rest, dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve you. Perhaps, 
perhaps hatching something, a hatchback I'm getting. Somebody might be getting a car, but this could be, you know, having a garage sale, getting rid of things you don't need anymore, um, but no longer confused here. Finding the one and letting go of the rest. And there's justice here. I'm going to pull a few others in case we need it at the end because that looks like a cliffhanger there. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's really good. Stay tuned. The bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups reverse. So this is someone either not getting their wish or their way or being dissatisfied or this is happy being single. This could be no longer wanting to be single or no longer being single. But let's see what comes up here a little bit. Okay, so we got the King of Wands back here. What's he doing? There could be a father and child here or frustration of the King of Wands after feeling like they had no options. The Wounded Warrior surrendering here. So he could be surrendering or he could be with another fire energy surrendering. This Page of Wands could be a separate energy, a child or a partner who may be frustrated um, regarding fighting, games, acting, the pursuit of happiness perhaps, you know, sports of course. And then the King of Swords is upright here along with the independent one or the sovereign person who's very happy with themselves. They have everything they need. And the King of Swords looks like he's got his eyes on her, you know, whether it's a partnership or a child that we're very proud of. Um, but then there's some kind of weakness here perhaps health or just needing courage. We have Leo reversed here. And again, someone not, someone like a, with a weakness of, of never being satisfied here, right? So having everything but still not satisfied. So it can be a blessing and a curse at the same time. And then here's the King of Swords perhaps seeing that in this person and wondering what the truth is, okay? And we got both two kings and perhaps two children there too. We have Leo, we have Earth. Some kind of conflict or games being played. Okay, so the king of the king of wands seemed kind of before the underlying energy even, right? So the king of wands surrendering or this page of wands that was reversed behind him surrendering. That even could be three fire signs, like a king of wands with uh, two people. One is the page of wands and the other one's the wounded warrior surrendering there. And then we have this, this conflict, or is this, uh, you know, just the pursuit of day-to-day -day life and the pursuit of happiness? Is it playing sports or games? Is it acting? Is it fighting? And then we have the king of swords upright, who's in his integrity, um, looking at or thinking about his own independence or somebody else's independence and whatever weakness, if there is one, of coming together with them or of letting go of not being single anymore because we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. When these two are upright, like it's that perfect couple, right? One who's sovereign in their emotions, one who's sovereign in their practical day-to-day -day life and coming together. And maybe there, this, maybe this one has a weakness for this one. So we have Leo reversed, and of course it's your read, so there definitely could be Virgo energy there with the Sovereign energy there, and then we have connection here with the Queen of, of Cups who's not satisfied because she's got everything except for her love, her true love. It's kind of that Ju Juliet energy. And here's that energy of the Power Man here, the 28, the Twin Flame, and the Ace of Cups here, her true love. So let's go ahead and clarify. There's a lot of people here Okay, because we have, like I said before, we have the cups here and the swords, but we also have the pentacles children here, the knight of pentacles and the sovereign, which can be siblings as well. So it can be siblings within your family having come together for a party or coming together this month for a party. And they're all upright, challenged by work, challenged by working nights, challenged by looking cl more closely at something. I'm getting that Michael Jackson energy with Ben. Ben, the two of us need look no more. We both found what we've been looking for. If a friend to call my own, I never feel alone. 
Okay, my friend will see you've got a friend in me. So I don't know if I'm getting the words right, but that's the energy. And the Spirit's connecting with me pretty intensely there. I used to say, I and me, now it's us, now it's we. It's making me want to cry. Ben, most people would turn you away. I don't care about a word they say. They don't see you as I do. I wish they would try to. I'm sure they'd think again. If they had a friend like Ben. That's coming up. So the challenge is the needing to get your ducks in a row, get your affairs in order. The challenge is coming together to work, perhaps. The home fires burn, getting the home fires burning, I'm getting, which I wouldn't normally get from that because that's usually more of a work or co-creation card. And then the foundation here of the Nine of Cups. Okay, there could be a third-party situation, a falling out in the past. This can be overindulgences and gossip as well and a falling out in the past or a bad childhood. The past returning, dealing with children who may be difficult. And there's the sovereign upright and not expressing their true feelings or perhaps some heated exchange here with the king of cups who's now smiling. <laughs> Again, this could be a third party situation with the falling out in the past. Someone who's sovereign and has everything they need in heated connection with the king of cups reversed right who should be satisfied but emotionally i can't get no satisfaction so that's coming up and again the king of cups is surrender so that's like the theme here so she the king of cups is the surrendering here and then the the sovereign here can be the queen of cups who has everything she needs except for her true love that she's longing for it's a very romantic read <laughs> The um, Queen of Cups in the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles, the humble loyal servant offering to the King of Wands. And him getting over something, getting over some kind of loss, regret, guilt, or shame of the past. But he is upright. And that's coming up for the Queen of Cups with the Nine of Cups reversed. So she didn't get her wish or she doesn't want to be single anymore. Right? She has everything she needs except for the one true love. And this Knight of Pentacles can actually be her energy looking forward, but then going back to her inner Queen of Cups, right? Her longing to offer something to the King of Wands who may be getting over something. Maybe. There's guilt and shame there, right? This is someone who can't sleep nights or is purging at night, going through suffering in silence, or just stressed out here regarding getting over a lost regret or guilt and shame of the past. And maybe this offering from the Queen of Cups or the Knight of Pentacles is just making it worse because they don't deserve that or they feel they don't deserve it. Or maybe they feel undeserving of because maybe they hurt you or this person. I don't know which one's which, but so what, what signs came up for you guys? So Leo reversed Aries, Libra, and Pisces or Capricorn for me, reversed. But Libra, Aries, Libra and Aries are upright but Capricorn or Pisces and Leo are reversed. Why do you have the emperor in the foundation? The truth. This is presenting the truth to the emperor, perhaps, or the emperor presenting the truth to the queen of swords reversed. And she may be letting go. Maybe she doesn't have much money left or time or energy left. But she's willing to put that last little bit in to fix something, make repairs, perhaps physically in a house, or making amends with someone after receive if they receive and after receiving the truth from the emperor, perhaps. And then there's the uh, there's a small step forward to manifest something, to take a look at something more closely. And again, it could be manifesting something together. 
And we have a page of cups here reversed too. So it could be two inner children coming together, perhaps one hurt the other, and trying to make repairs there to that relationship. This could be actual children of the Queen of Swords and the Emperor, or that can be their inner children coming together to make amends with each other. The central energy is the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Swords reversed. Grounding and integrating and mastering, perhaps. This can be boredom and apathy as well. But again, there's a lack of peace here, needing peace. Someone feeling sorry for themselves, or perhaps these three didn't work out, so why would that? And they don't see the good in what God is offering them. Or perhaps they're not even seeing it because they're so inside themselves. They don't even see what's being offered themselves, but there's, there's no peace here. There's a need for peace. Okay, there's no peace because of looking back at the past at an upside down world. And then of course that makes them depressed, okay? So it's about letting go of the past and moving forward, challenged by the eight of pentacles, which is about sharing or settling out, being charitable. Like, you know, just getting things organized. But there's frustration here or a lack of growth in sharing with others. This can be at work. There's a lack of growth or there's frustration. No, maybe it's not fun for you anymore. There's no inspiration, no arousal, no um, humor, right? Or not understanding something in an inability to conceive, literally, for children, but also an inability to conceive of something or understand something. This can be also feeling like someone's agenda being forced upon you, or are they going to feel like you are forcing their, your agenda on them? And this is a, an ending of an unhappy cycle or an unhappy family here, right? Maybe worry that a family is going to pr try to push their agenda or not if they're not agreeing on what you want to do. And again, there's this, this is, I don't like the judgment card reversed at all. I mean, this is, this is that wake up call to action. So it's, it's already kind of being forced on you because you didn't do it yourself, that kind of energy. But when it's reversed, it's someone not heeding the call. This is someone needing to swallow their pride. Perhaps they choked or spoke too soon, right? Or made judgments about others that they shouldn't have. Or maybe they're holding back an announcement that needs to come out. We also have, that could be for me as a Aquarius energy reversed. And we have that both of these for me are Aquarius and Pisces reversed right there as well. So there could be a cycle that's way overdue to end, which is ending here. So some kind of frustration or lack of inspiration regarding this. Obviously, it's not fun to go through. But being charitable, being equal, right? Some kind of equitable situation, being fair regarding work and sorting out all the details. And then crowning is the Page of Swords with a message or a child. The Knight of Swords reverse, which is here. Um, that's someone who could be holding their tongue or that can be, you know, lashing out to or verbal abuse in a confession, perhaps, or lashing out at the one who confessed. This is someone who dropped, you know, the ball too with their responsibilities at work. This is dumping a load, dumping a burden, dumping responsibilities, confessing, and then someone lashing out here. Or holding your tongue so that you can just take a load off and not worry about anything and reap the rewards of your efforts. So there's definitely something to say with this Knight of Swords, but they may have come in with the Page of Swords and just didn't say anything at all because they actually just want to reap rewards. They don't want to and take a, la a load off, you know, take it easy. They don't want to get into anything heavy right now. But it also could be a confession coming in but in a defensive way, like coming at, coming at the confession defensive because you're afraid of the way the other person would react. And perhaps the other person then having to think about it, you know, thinking about their worth and is this worth it to them? And then the Knight of Swords. Okay, dumping emotional attachments, multiple loads, no longer confused here, perhaps an all must go sale. New information or clarity comes in, but that can also knock someone off balance. So this is the Knight of Swords rushing in with the truth. 
about dumping a load, push to an emotional limit, crying, purging, sweating it out, perhaps throwing up or vomiting, um, and rise, having to rise above all that, or not sleeping. You see yourself as the King of Cups, hanging out, perhaps, I don't think he's feeling hung out to dry. He's got a happy look on his face. This is hanging out, being wise, seeing new perspectives, being able to relax, enjoy your time in the sun with kids or on vacation here, with lovers. That could be Gemini as well and Pisces or Capricorn over here. This can also just be a lot of affection with your children here. You know, just thinking back about your children and being very happy about that. This also can be taking a lover on vacation or thinking about it. I think the King of Cups is talk, thinking about taking a lover on vacation. Perhaps it's not quite time yet. Okay, finding their self-love here. And then this is the hangman upright, finding a way out. Being patient, angel, taking one step at a time off the beaten path for a higher love. And there may be some break that needs to happen. This is feeling broke or broken in general. This can be a break up, a break down, a break in out or a break through. This can be a cancellation or issues with a vacation or traveling or car issues here. And find, but finding a way out by being patient, even without a car or being stuck. This can be the war path for somebody as well, but it doesn't feel like that. We have Sag upright, Cancer reversed, and here we have Capricorn or Pisces, Leo, um, Gemini or upright, and then Libra reversed, and Cancer reversed, and Sagittarius upright here. But we also have the hangman both ways, so Capricorn and Pisces both upright and reversed. So the King of Cups, he could have Pisces. He could, he could have Pisces in his chart. I mean, if that's you, you could have Pisces in your chart. You could have Leo or Gemini in your chart and Libra reversed in your chart. This can also be someone who's just really in your energy if it's not you. I mean, they're literally in your energy. Very childlike energy, perhaps. Vulnerable and shy, but studious at the same time. Like this could be a mixture of two people, especially there could be twin flame energy coming up here where you are literally in each other's energy, so both of your energies are coming through there. The block here is the three of pentacles. Standing up for yourself, perhaps afraid that when you come together to work, will you be able to stand up for yourself and be strong enough to do that to the king of pentacles reversed, worried that he may be ha maybe his intentions aren't good and he's all about the money and that's all he wants. That's a fear of yours. And then we have the Ace of Wands, which is new passion, new growth, new creativity, projects. And maybe not seeing eye to eye on something or at a distance from each other with the Emperor here and feeling imprisoned. But there's justice as well. Not seeing eye to eye with the Emperor as the King of Cups or at a distance from the emperor. The emperor is in prison or feeling imprisoned by the justice system. This could be someone who's in prison between the emperor and the judge. And this could be imprisonment between, just, between state and religion as well, or excuse me, business and justice, right? The department of, it's kind of like the, um, the executive office versus the, uh, the justice system and the imprisonment between the anxiety between Aries and Libra perhaps and the disconnect not seeing eye to eye or being at a distance from each other and that makes them feel imprisoned because there's passion here and again there is conflict regarding the Queen of Cups reversed the Seven of Cups reversed for Virgo 
Someone is clear about what they want. They're back up on the horse with good news, leading the way. Perhaps this can be the new moon or getting up really early before the, before the sunrise. Getting up early to come in with this good news to the Ten of Pentacles who maybe who had some loss recently, whether it's a family member or loss of time, money, and effort. This also could be making a big purchase. And maybe after a yard sale, you've made enough money. Someone's saying, oh, we made this much money. I can actually, I can actually go out and get this. So somebody going out to get something first thing in the morning before anyone's up to surprise them with it. That could be as well. We have the Queen of Cups reversed and Cancer reversed right here. So that could be her. This could be either someone coming to you or you coming to them. If it's not you with Cancer in your chart um, regarding a big purchase or the loss or dysfunction of the family because we have the king of pentacles right here reversed as well maybe there's good news coming in though regarding this maybe the families had to get up really early to go to work to try to correct any imbalances or to afford to be able to pay for this and then let's see what's coming up next because there definitely was a lot coming out after the story here and remember you have Leo reversed, Aries upright, of course you Virgo, and then we have Cancer, excuse me, Pisces or Capricorn reversed, and then Libra upright here, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. After dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve, or getting rid of stuff that you don't need anymore, or dumping multiple emotional loads, being able to pick up the ball again and juggle the rainbow, keeping your eye on the prize. There's only good things in the background coming in with dolphins and a ship coming in. And then we have the magician reversed, which is perhaps, you know, keeping your cards close, feeling insecure or not having the tools for something. This also can be manipulation there with the uh, king of pentacles right here. Are they being manipulative? Again, doing you know, doing the act again and being manipulative. Maybe you're worried that they'll go back to their old ways. And then there's the Knight of Wands rushing in, right? Showing a little bit of leg, being all sexy. And is it just a manipulation or a game to them? And this is about recovering from, from exile, from the past, from injury or illness, being hurt, feeling left behind or left, no one cares about you, homeless kind of energy. And then finding stability here with a home. This could be celebration as well, and happiness with the sun. It's just like someone, someone perhaps who has experienced homelessness in the past, who's just really happy to have a home and family and the sun shining. And there's big love though on top of that here. That's not even it, right? We have, this is self-love, spiritual love, new love, this beautiful st stability of family and happiness and children and this intense connection here. Look at this together with the sun. You can't ask for more than that. You have union, sunshine, the holy grail, and the most intense connection that you'll ever know. And then this is someone feeling burdened, trying to get something done under pressure by these people watching them to get to this connection and taking the field down. I was just getting one by one. And that was coming up in Leo's energy too, of taking the swords out one by one. And then there's this energetic exchange here of arrows of love, a lot of communication or travel back and forth. You know, once you get done this, this is someone really intensely trying to get done, rushing, but it's a lot that they're carrying in order to then express the arrows of love. And I want to see what actually was the next card too for you guys, because... It's open-ended, that energetic exchange. And this is wanting to connect with someone perhaps that they left for dead. So did you leave the other person for dead or did they leave you for dead with only Bambi to the rescue to take care of them perhaps and then and make closure and come full circle? This is really good. So let's clarify some of that for you guys. The Two of Pentacles is the Page of Wands reversed, uninspired before and now able to get back into the swing of things. And again, we have this energy of siblings here, perhaps not getting along and not seeing things the same way. The same thing was coming up here with the, the swords energies over here. Perhaps two young people 
wanting to work together, but perhaps not having the tools, because we have the, the Knight of Wands here too. So this is the Page of Wands reversed, trying to get back to juggling, but not feeling like they have the tools, or perhaps keeping their cards close to their chest about, about everything, feeling insecure with the Knight of Wands. He's more secure here, right? They're very confident in themselves moving forward. And then we have the, uh, that recovery there. The Hierophant commitment, the old boys club, Taurus energy, right? The way, the traditional way things are supposed to be done and someone's not traditional perhaps. And there's discomfort here regarding a marriage or a commitment, religion, establishment. And again, there's discomfort in not walking away from this marriage or commitment and detox here. This could be some, a sudden detox too, but I'm not going to put this out. We'll keep the tower in just in case. So this could be a detox which someone's afraid to go into because they know how painful it is. And then we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. The war is over. Post-war recovery here. After taking a fall, falling on your face from grace, lacking faith, falling in love with someone who's insincere or a cheater or moody or rejected you, right? This is jealousy too. And then the home and family with the queen of wands, separation or heartbreak with the king of swords reversed. There was a separation there in order to come together at work, perhaps maybe there's a an emotional separation, but still working together. Okay, and that was a, this is a block here for you, working together still, recovering at work to help recover finances and get back into a place where they can then make an offer. Okay, so the sunshine here for Virgo, the Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer of time, money, and energy, a big offer, a new life to perhaps correct any problems with overworking or not working out to compensate for overtime and manipulations or not having the tools to deal with a certain situation, feeling insecure and going out of your mind, dealing with someone who's losing their mind. This can be a parent who's got Alzheimer's or something like that, but it also can just be that energy of one losing their mind, you know, just doing too much work or no matter how hard they try, it's just not working out. They don't have the right tools to deal with the situation or they're just going out of their mind, or this is an intense manipulation here, and perhaps wanting to pay restitution for that. That can be as well. There's a lot of Virgo energy here between these two cards, both reversed. This can be Gemini as well. This can be doing work as well, you know, paying for a job, perhaps that you're not satis fully satisfied with, and exposing that. And then there's the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. What is that about? come together to create, to work, recovering finances or any falling out, injury, illnesses, someone who was left behind in the past, now being brought back in, um, regarding issues with a house or instability of a home, and perhaps the high priestess, the secret keeper or psychic person, and perhaps dealing with them, and that can be you. There is big love here, there is big connection, and someone hauling ass, perhaps to get into that connection. Why do we have the Two of Cups and then the Ten of Wands? Wanting to make things right. This is coming clean, getting clean, cleaning up the actor space. So this is why somebody's hauling ass over here, working really hard under pressure in order to make things right and drop the act, break patterns. And then we have these cards here, which is fight like willing to fight for you or you willing to fight for them sudden event sudden epiphany a sexual exchange here blowing your top your cover your crown your mind being kicked out of the house right this could be all must go get out even if it's painful ending pain a painful ending betrayal or getting a massage could be as well but it's sudden pain 
Maybe a sudden pain in the ass, or maybe you had the ten wands and you hurt yourself. So then it was like all of a sudden, get out. I'm not doing this anymore. But again, fighting for someone, fighting the war, and then the energetic exchange here of a near-death experience or after a death or clinginess or the never-ending story of needing to end the cycle of having no options, feeling weak with no strength or ill health or near-death situation or after a death, perhaps of a mother or this is feeling weak around the empress. And this could be a masculine energy in comparison to the empress. He may be feeling weak or not worthy of her. And then there's a message here or someone stepping up to the plate regarding the queen of pentacles reversed. And this could be a mother, daughter, and their child here as well. And we have Pisces here too. So we have Scorpio reversed and Leo reversed here and Taurus upright. This can be just being dead tired as well, feeling like you've got no options, feeling weak without courage or ill health here around the Empress or feeling all this weakness around the Empress who's got it all together. And then the message or someone stepping up to the plate and telling about the Queen of Pentacles reverse, perhaps. This could be a message about coming full circle and how it all played out. Phew, I am sweating like crazy. All right, Romance Angels. This is a very romantic read. But it wasn't without its thorns for sure. All right, we have... Someone needing peace here, being very practical. All the basic cards are really good. So there was not everything good in the past, but the way this read came out was really positive. No longer wanting to be alone, wanting to come together with your equal, right? Challenged by the getting your ducks in a row or the working late situation or just coming together for work to create. Or the home fight to keep the home fires burning too is what I was getting. And we have the King and Queen of Cups. You're seeing yourself as the King of Cups of unconditional love. Dealing with he may be dealing with the Emperor who's never satisfied. And the Queen of Cups is not satisfied because she's longing for her true love. And then we have mess a lot of messages here with the Knight and the Page of Swords or two other kids who may not always be telling the truth. And there's a confession that may be made by a child here or a message in a message. This can also represent a message of the Queen of Wands who's longing for her true love and sent a message. And then the Knight of Pentacles, the loyal, humble servant who's looking forward but wanted to go back to the Queen of Cups. And then there is new passion in the end here and justice and the one juggling the rainbow with their eye on the prize, trying to get their ducks in a row to come forward in this, in this big happiness, union, love, intense connection with attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Virgo, this is beautiful. You haven't had anything like this in a long time. The bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. The divine timing isn't work in your love life, but this is, we're going away from that. It was soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Worth waiting for. And attraction, new love, and retreat. So let's see what the energy deck has for you. Oh, the flame just went out. Something just ended. Leo had a flame go out as well. So the old cycle has ended officially. The new cycle has begun for Virgo. Leo had the world at the end, so they had completion as well, but it looks like Virgo is kind of like one step ahead of that. There is justice and the one, and there's union, sunshine, big love, intense connection, and someone who's willing to do all the work to make it right. This is for Virgo, February 2022. 
the door to personal healing and happiness, letting the outside in, inside out, knowing each other inside out, the 34 is the energetic exchange, the hours of love, lots of communication and travel back and forth, opening new doors and windows together, clearing it out, letting the fresh air in, right, that we're a place where there is no past, it's only the present, beautiful energy of Mother Nature inside and out, beautiful and abundant inside and out. And then the second chakra of the sacral chakra, the 36 of Atlas and the weight of the world on your shoulders and dropping that. So we have it here, we're willing to do the work here. Where was the, I'm looking for the mini of that. Oh, it's up here, yeah, because it was dumping a load here dumping your burdens, confessing, and that can be this energy as well with the sacral chakra. This could be a sexual exchange here, but it also could be new creative projects and growth and preparing for that by cleaning out and making everything beautiful and fresh again and coming into this caring connection of the 14 of a higher love. This is beautiful. There's another energy here too. There may be some kids around perhaps or perhaps little angels who are supporting this union here. Somebody might be walking away and within or going on vacation here. This can be someone taking their children away as well. A very affectionate connection. But it is talking about new love. So if you are going away with children, maybe there was a falling out in the past with children. It's like renewing that love. Um, but there looks like a father-son issue here. The next two cards are this with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So again, there's this father-son issue. There's a lot of hostilities between the father and son and then finding rest and rejuvenation, like going on vacation to get away from this. This is definitely the Emperor, the Emperor King of Cups energy here. So as he, the Emperor makes him feel like a child and it pisses him off that he's always coming in telling him what to do. And this is about getting away from all that and doing what's best for you. And there's that King of Cups, 37, unconditional love and being confident and bold and shining your light, Virgo. This is especially for the masculine who's got Virgo in their chart. There is victory here with the 28, the twin flames. There's the 28 of the power man here. And there is peace and victory here with number 28 and the twin flame, that choice of path and cornucopia, 11 alignment with abundance. The bottom of the deck is that broken heart, the nine of the ending of the broken heart that has now expanded and healed. And also that's Virgo energy of September and the 52 of the queen of swords, the goddess of the moon. So there's definitely cancer energy here too, as well as Virgo energy. Okay, so the underlying energies here of healing that broken heart and again, the first cards that came out of this deck were door to personal healing and happiness is healing that broken heart with your sacral chakra and the weight of the world, confession or dumping a load, dumping your burdens, dumping your responsibilities and focusing on caring connections and a higher love, taking one step at a time in the angel of balance here, perhaps walking away and within when needed. Really beautiful energies, romance angels again, attraction, new love and retreat. And actually for you, since it's so positive, I actually want to pull another card for you. Let's see, which one do I want to pull from? I'm going to pull from the Shaman Dreams. It's one of my newer decks here. It's a little stiff. Maybe that's what is called for here to kind of loosen it up. Okay, Virgo. There is a happy ending here. Absolutely. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, I'm shuffling it backwards. Hold on. All right. Oh, look at that. Sky dancers. Surrender. Beautiful. Walking away within. Oh, and this one like kind of matches it. Straddling worlds. Wandering between realms together. 
This is like the two energies coming together, of walking away within with the Queen of Swords. And there's the 28, hollow bone. That came up recently too. Teachability, right? Are you too stubborn to learn or can you learn from each other? Okay, so we have these two, the sky dancers, surrendering and straddling worlds together of walking away and within as the Queen of Swords or with the Queen of Swords. And they definitely look like they belong together, but learning how to stand at that Y in the road and choose a new path by going into that zero point field and allow yourself to let go of your pride and, te and learn from each other. And then we have closing the door and completion, right? To end the past with the five of the Hierophant and the old ways of societal norms and the ways of doing things in the past. We're closing the door to that. And this is a new journey. We're embracing the fool's journey, transmuting pain. This is beautiful. And then feast of plenty with choices and their consequences. So knowing from your learnings in the past that, that you know, the choices of even what you eat, you know, always have consequences and you're learning from each other. The, five, the 54 is the underlying energy, the page of swords, the message, the crossing, the initiation. So this is where we started from, going across this bridge. And you have crossed the bridge here. You're closing the door to the past and moving into the fool's embrace, transmuting pain on the fool's journey with an open heart, taking a leap of faith and knowing how to do it now. Perhaps before you didn't. So maybe it wouldn't have worked before because you didn't know how to do this work. So it's really beautiful energies. It's like I want to keep pulling. This is a ha beautiful, happy ending. This is like happily ever after with the four of wands, the sunshine, the ace of cups, the two of cups, someone who's willing to do all the work to get to this connection and willing to fight for you, this energetic exchange, the arrows of love and the world, completion, the divine feminine, Pisces energy with an open heart, both coming together with an open heart. It's really beautiful. See, look, the bot, it's just this last card of the reed ended up the, on the top of the underlying energy of the um, Lenormand Reverie. And this is like, you know, the Divine Mass and the Divine Feminine coming together. So beautiful. Okay, Virgo, you better like that one. I invite you to drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, and get your nature. You're going to need it. It's 1151 on the clock, Justice for the King of Swords. And 5734 here, which is, again, healing that broken heart in energetic exchange and arrows of love. So rise and be love. And know all is well. Breathe again. Happy, happy Virgo. Rise and be love. I'll see you soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.